We're about to dive into a great conversation right now here in the Cisco TV studio space with the fabulous Parma Rod. Hello, Par. Hello. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. I am so glad to have you back with us. For those of you who don't know Par, our VP of Learning and Certifications here at Cisco. And this is really important because it's one of the most popular aspects of this event. And for people who haven't had a chance to attend a Cisco Live before, they don't realize it's not just about meeting up with friends or seeing all the demos. The certification and the learning part is so enormous. So kind of let's start at the, at, the, at the foundational. This is about building your IT future, right? Mm -hmm. All of these valuable and measurable ways that Cisco is helping engineers and developers and IT experts to meet their professional development goals, which has got to be so exciting for you to bring this to everybody, right? It, it absolutely is, and we have such a rich history with our certifications, and I hear every day about how earning a certification actually has changed lives, and that's the most important aspect of this. But our certifications are in place to make sure that they're able to have a successful career, and to have a successful career, they have to have the skills that are in demand now and are future ready to be able to deliver those business outcomes that they're on the hook to deliver with their day job. Absolutely, this is an empowerment story because a lot of times people think, well I just have to figure these things out on my own. No, that's what your partnership with Cisco is really all about. We are here, we don't want anybody to struggle or to wonder, we want to give them exactly what they need to succeed, right? That's absolutely right and you know, what we have with our certifications, first of all, this event is spectacular. So fun. Because people come and they're doing deep tutorials, they're doing breakouts, in addition to meeting with the community, in addition to sharing stories and hearing about what's new, they're actually spending time learning with tutorials and breakouts and we're actually delivering 1,500 exams during this week. So it's very exciting. 1,500 just while we're here in Amsterdam? Just while we're here in Amsterdam. Who coordinates that? <laughs> Well, give a shout out to your team, whoever coordinates the, that, right? The, the team that puts this together <laughs> is phenomenal. So much planning goes behind the scenes, so much preparation goes behind the scenes. Uh, everything from orchestration uh, around the labs to do the exams, to all of the breakout sessions, the tutorials, and the Cisco U Theater, and all of the sessions that we have taking place there. No, oh, congratulations to you and your whole team on that. All right, you mentioned a key word a moment ago, you said new. Everything that's new, what is new within learning and certification? Here so at Cisco. there is so much new. So first of all, a year ago at Amsterdam, we announced the beta of Cisco U. Mm -hmm. We've since GA'd and we have since had tremendous oh. success with it. And I'm so proud of the team for delivering this. We have had over a 400% increase in users on the digital platform. Oh, that's amazing. It is amazing. Uh, we've actually won a Brandon Hall Award for best advancement in education using technology. We've consolidated App D training into Cisco U, and we're just getting great feedback. Great. Uh, user, user experience, fantastic content, the tutorials in there are super impactful, and all of it still includes hands-on labs. Look, the pace at which technology is changing is breakneck. That doesn't mean you have to wait for an annual time, point in time, to learn. You've got to be doing continuous learning, and Cisco U does that effectively, efficiently, and at scale. That's great. Cisco, you by the way, straight down the hallway here in the hub, and I was going to ask you, when it comes to an event like Cisco Live, whether we're here in EMEA or we're in APJC or in the US, do you wait to time some of these releases for these core events? Um, we do and we don't. Okay. So, for example, as we release new certifications, which at Cisco, U, uh, Cisco Live this year, we are announcing the release of three new specialist certifications. And We've announced the blueprints for them, but sometimes you know people want to prepare to understand what they're about. Mm. So we, we don't hold back, but we definitely go big on when something is new. And this year, we have three new certifications, which align very well to the announcements that were made in the keynote today. One is around cloud connectivity, okay. one is around secure cloud access, and the other is all around assurance on the enterprise network. Cloud connectivity is all about SD-WAN, security services like firewall, cloud operating platform tools, mm. and user authentication. 
secure access, is really looking at threat intelligence. It's looking at um, how you connect users and endpoints and devices securely. Data, looking at data security, workload security, even application security. And this really gets to that convergence of policy, mm -hmm. especially as you're doing SASE integrations, zero trust, and XDR. And then the last one is all about assurance, and that's how are you using data for performance analysis, for security analysis, and then how are you troubleshooting, how are you uh, diagnosing and getting to resolutions. So we're really looking at secure, connect, and observe. So going through that full stack. And so this is a specialist certification. Uh, one thing to note about our specialist certifications, they are also accredited, which means they are accredited for the skills that are in demand in the market today. And you just fed me exactly where I wanted to go with you, which is the talk of this show everywhere we go. AI, generative AI. Let's talk about learning and certifications in AI. How is Cisco Learning and Certifications preparing our community for the onslaught of, I'm calling it opportunity. I mean, we have a long way to go, and we've got a lot to figure out, but I see this as a big opportunity. Yeah. How do we prepare our people for that? We, we see it as an opportunity as well. Now, we didn't just wait for generative AI. That's, the, that's what's taken all the air out of the right. room, right? <laughs> Um, we have been using predictive AI and ML in a number of solutions, and we have been providing the training and the learning around how to use predictive AI in those solutions. What is new is this generative AI bit. Mm -hmm. And so we are looking at it across three different themes, really. One is, what is AI? What, do our, what does our community need to know about AI? Uh, then how do I start playing with it so that I'm prepared as it comes to fruition on how I use it, how I interact with it, humans working with AI. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, how do I design, deploy, and operate a network for big AI workloads? So we have all three of those. In fact, in Cisco U right now, we have two tutorials. One on prompt engineering for Python using ChatGBT, mm -hmm. and the other is around ChatGBT and iOS XE. So we are absolutely preparing our community for what is upon us. And are you hearing from people who are going through the process, is it mostly positive, is it more negative, is it very hesitant and fearful, or is it aggressive and proactive? Yes. Yes, it's all of the above, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Does it seem to be where people's areas of expertise are? So on the IT side, maybe somebody's a bit more cautious because they're not sure about their security exposure. Maybe on the developer side, all they see is just yeah. a world of options sitting in front of them. I think it's across the spectrum. For our community, it's still critical that you have the core foundational skills on the network. Networks are still complex. The designing of them, you need to understand what they're about, how to operate, how to troubleshoot, how to design in particular. So we're still very much on let's get your skills hardened, you know, everywhere from entry to expert, and it's going to take some time for this to, you know, really roll out. And so we're prepared, and I think the community is excited with us. We are, I, I mean, we're even excited here across the, own, uh, uh, the Cisco ecosphere to, to see what it is that you're doing, the way you're adapting, the way you're offering more and more, and the way you're keeping up with the trend and the conversation. Everything that we heard about in the opening keynote today from Oliver and the team, you're reflecting it right here. So Par, really appreciate you being here. Always a pleasure to talk with you oh, and have you on the set. Thank you. One last thing. Yes, please. Get started. Go to u.cisco.com right now and register and start learning.